everyone. In Israel, the last big start before the Olympics has already officially started. Some of the world's best gymnasts perform there. We can say that the girls are now going through the last general runs before the Olympics. They are already starting to accumulate strength in Tokyo. To be honest, I can't even believe that there are so few days left before the games. Well, today in the video I will tell you how the all-around for gymnasts went, about the interesting situation with the Ukrainian gymnasts, and in general, we will discuss everything that happened in Israel. Well, before the start of the video, do not forget forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. The Olympics are approaching and together we will monitor how everything goes there. So in order not to miss, join our family. While using the link in the description, if you like what I do, you can also support me with donations. I'll be really grateful. Let's get started. On July 16th, Israel hosted the first day of the international tournament and the Grand Prix stage, which some of the world's best gymnasts will perform. The tournament turned out to be even richer than the last one held in Russia, so there is definitely Definitely something to discuss. The structure of the competition is similar to what will be in Tokyo. Gymnasts perform for two days with all four apparatus. Only if in Tokyo it is this qualification and the all-around final, then here the girls compete for two days. On the first day they do four apparatus and fight for the all-around medal, and the second day for medals of certain apparatus. In addition to the main Grand Prix, the gymnasts performed within the framework of the international tournament. Following the results of the first day, we will start with it. So the leader in the two events was Evita Griskinas, the US gymnast followed by the Belarusian gymnast Anna Kamishikova, and the three leaders were closed by Polina Karika, Ukrainian gymnast. The first day, the girls perform with only two apparatus, so on Saturday they will have two more apparatus and only then medals. But the gymnasts have already competed for all-around medals within the framework of the Grand Prix, and the gold medal here was won by Linoa Schramm. I think this is not surprising, also because the competition was held in her home country. But we must also pay tribute to all four apparatus of Linoi was that she passed with confidence and received marks for 29 points. It is difficult to say which estimates are more honest and fair at this tournament, or those that were retrieved by the awareness in Moscow. But in any case, we only little remains until the main battle. Alina Karnesko won silver. Unfortunately, she failed to compete for gold. But for the exercise with clubs, Alina received an assessment of 28 points and 1 tenth which of course does not reach 29. It also looks like something unbelievable. Anastasia Salas won the all-around bronze medal, and the gap from her teammate was not so big. There will also be an interesting struggle between the girls who will cope with their nerves and in Tokyo will show the best result. It seems to me that everything that will happen at the Olympics will be amazing. The fourth place in the all-around was taken by Nicole Zelikman. Nicole updated almost all of her wear for this tournament, and I especially like the ribbon with a dragon on her. I think this is especially for for the Japanese style. Little dragons are also popular there. Or is it in China? Well, in general, the suit is beautiful and unusual. The fifth was Kristina, the frontier gymnast of Ukraine. Regarding the Ukrainian national team, it is unclear who they want to send to the games. As they wrote in the chat in the telegram, Kristina and Vika declared, uh, are declared into the list, ended up there, since Irina Ivanovna did not submit a written application who would represent their country, and in fact was the National Olympic Committee who entered the girls on a sports basis. While this tournament seems to have become another indicator of who will be taken to the games. Victoria Naprienka, another Ukrainian gymnast, lost quite a bit to Kristina, but Vlada Nikonchika as much as two points, which as for me once again confirms that Vlada is not ready for games at the moment. Although the Italian national team made the choice of gymnasts not on the basis of sporting principles, but on the basis of experience and adulthood. So who knows what will happen here. After all, the gymnasts can still be changed. But at the end, if this happens, it will be a big information scandal. In principle, as with what happened in the European Championship in 2020, maybe the Federation of Ukraine wants to attract attention to itself. I tried to relate to this, so who will go means that fate will win the games. Write in the comments what do you think on this issue. Still, it is now probably the only one that has not yet been opened and has not been officially confirmed by the country's federation. It is strange that even in Russia this year, Irina Alexandrovna said that the awareness were going exactly, and if something happens to them, there will be a replacement. Then, in fact, there are no options. Well, and another funny fact about the Ukrainian national team, which it was impossible not to pay attention to when watching the broadcast, when Viktoria Naprienka performed, there were two coaches. When Vlada, she was alone. 
and when Cristina no one stood as their coaches. I hope this is not an indicator of love for gymnasts, but from the outside it is exactly such a feeling. 7th place in the all-around was taken by Laura Zeng representing USA, the 9th place was taken by the gymnast of Israel Adia Asia, Katz, and the 10th place was closed by Fanny Pignitsky. I sometimes get the feeling that whoever, and no matter how many competencies in Fanny's competition, is always 10. Funny observation, but maybe just a coincidence and it seems. But she's a great fellow in any case. Well, for those who have forgotten exactly here, her, we will see her in Tokyo very soon. While in the group, gold was won by the Israeli team, silver for the gymnasts of Ukraine, and the bronze for the Azerbaijani women. Well, that's it for today. This is all of the head of gymnasts still waiting for a full-fledged adventurous day. Well, we will definitely see you on the channel after the final. Remember that I love you all, and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Sasha Sinitsa.